Okay, here's my pickups for today. Um, surprisingly, I only went to, I don't know, maybe three sales. And of the three sales I went to, I was able to find stuff. And they were all estate sales. No, I'm sorry. I went to two estate sales. And um, that's where I got at one of the estate sales I bought this stuff. <clears throat> and then I went to a consignment store. And normally I don't find much. But since I've been uh, messing around with perfume... Uh, it opens up other options for me, which other people don't necessarily want to deal with perfume. So anyway, I spent about 85 for everything. Um, only $20 for all the glass here. And um, some of this glass is good. I did pretty good on that. Uh, let me just go through this. This is a Caithness Scotland, and this one is actually numbered. It's an Apple paperweight. Probably on eBay, this is maybe like 20 to $35. I'm going to have to see. Uh, if it's only 20 bucks with shipping, I'll just take it off the flea market, sell it for 8 or 10 or something like that. I mean, at $20, uh, yeah, $20, I think I spent like $3 a piece on the glass. And then I bought this, uh, this was the uh, piece of jewelry I bought there. And it's not special, it's not very old or anything, but it's it's nice looking. You know, it's it's a market site. Well, actually, it looks like market site. It's more like a black uh, or gray rhinestone and regular rhinestone. But as you can see, it looks really new. I don't see anybody's name on it, but it came in this... Give me this really nice box. I'm taking one more look. Okay, give me this really nice box. Um, so, Caithness. Uh, I don't know if you know much about glass, but that's a good glass company from Scotland. Um, here's someone named uh, Mats Jonasson. Yep, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is also signed. Uh, usually it's M. Sweden, I think, on the bottom, and it's numbered. Um, he does paperweights that look like this, where they, um, they're kind of embossed on the inside, kind of reverse embossing. Something like this on eBay should be worth at least $25 to $35. Not really sure. You know, some of his are worth more. The bigger ones are worth more, obviously. Uh, the smaller ones are worth less. But um, I, I found the only place I can sell these is on eBay. So if it sells for like $25 to $35, uh, $35 I'll just put it on eBay because at the flea markets, they're not buying stuff like this from me. Um, this is Crystal uh, de Sevres, uh, French. French, France, and I, I'm not sure if it's pronounced Sev, Sevres or Sevres or whatever, you know, but there it is, uh, Polar Bear, again, it was like $3, um, this, I will see on eBay what it's worth, I have no clue, um, yeah, this baby, um, this is probably, uh, let me see, nope, it uh, feels good, Pantal Bottom, um, most likely Murano or Blanco, it's definitely that area, uh, era, like that, like 60s, 70s, good piece of glass, uh, I don't think it's eBayable. I mean, it is, but it would be lost in the crowd unless I could actually attribute it to a glass company of some sort. Um, it would sit and sit and sit, and I wouldn't get much for it. I'd probably do better just selling it at the flea market where I can get like 10 to 20 at, at most. Um, this is probably the, well, this is probably the most valuable piece, possibly the easiest selling piece. And um, it doesn't really look like much. It almost looks like the dollar store, you know, just by looking at it. But uh, it is, um, it's Baccarat. And I don't know if you can see on the bottom. I just scoot it around. I, I'm sure you won't be able to read it, but there's a circle as a Baccarat symbol. I, I don't really have a clue. I'm assuming this should be an easy sell at 30 uh, to 50 on eBay, but I don't really know. Um, um, moving on. At a different sale, we bought a little bit of uh, jewelry. Well, this is the other. Uh, this is actually not a sale. This was a, a like a consignment shop, and I've been going in just scooping up like perfumes and uh, sometimes they have games, but usually it's like junk games that nobody really wants. But these two bracelets, uh, they were marked down half price. This one's Monet. Don't know what this is. I don't think it's anything, but it's nice looking. Both for five bucks. Um, in terms of the perfume, I'm not familiar with this one, but it is out of Paris, Japur Boucheron uh, Eau de Toilette. Now, I basically I paid 60 for these perfumes. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So it's less than $10 a piece, maybe $8 a piece, something like that. Um, so I got this one. I'm not sure what it is. This is a Ralph Lauren, and I think I've had this before. Um, it's named Safari, I believe. So I think this is definitely something I can get online in maybe $25 to $35 range. Not sure, though. You know, I will find out. Never had this one. Yardley English Leather. So I'm kind of like rolling the dice on this one. Uh, again... One or two of these should pay for everything, so I, I don't believe I'll go wrong. I'm familiar with the name L'Occitane. Um, this is L'Occitane. Uh, usually their stuff should be worth 20 to 30 uh, maybe more depending on what it is. And this is, uh, well, it's 0.7 fluid ounce. It's probably like maybe, if I'm lucky, it's in a 20 $24 range, $25 range. Uh, I don't know what it is. It doesn't say what if it's like... Uh, Whatever. It's either eau, eau de toilette or eau de parfum or something. One last peek. All right. 
moving on. Um, this is something made by a person named Ellen Tracy, and it's full. You know, you hold it up to light, you can see. And it's an eau de perfume, and it's a large size, uh, two and a half fluid ounces. So I'm going to learn about that. Hopefully that's worth at least 20 to uh, 35. Uh, and this is Ralph Lauren. This is actually a body lotion uh, with a pump. It was marked 33 originally. They had $8 on it. So I'm assuming I can get like 25 or so online with shipping. And then then here's another body lotion, Donna Karen Gold. I think I've had this stuff. And this is a, a large 5-point ounce uh, size, which they should be if they're body lotions. And uh, again, like I said, I might have paid I might have paid 15 for this. One of them might have been 20. But to me, in my mind, it averages out to eight a piece, and I'll I'll figure it out like uh, as I sell it. But yep, that's everything. That's everything I was able to get today. Hopefully, I'll have some good luck tomorrow.